Hello guys, this is Vinny Borges from Zaz Securities. I hope so you enjoyed the last tutorial, which was about TP-Link router exploit review. And uh, today I have brought you a new Joomla exploit, and I'm gonna review it. So before getting into the technical stuff, uh, basically I will tell you what is Joomla. So Joomla is a free and open source content management framework. Or it is, it is a CMS for web publishing web application contents. It's a web application CMS, and we can host websites on Joomla. So this weekend we are gonna review about a new vulnerability which was found and was being lately exploited. And this vulnerability was being found, and a new Metasploit module was being created about it. So I'm gonna review it and I will also try to exploit it and at the end of the tutorial I'm gonna give you the solutions to patch or to fix this vulnerability. So let's start. So here is a VM of Kali Linux where I'm gonna host my attacks and the at target machine is Windows XP where I have hosted my Joomla server which is running on XAMPP. I will also show you the Joomla web application and this is the IP address of the Joomla web application which I'm running and the URI is beneath which is being hosted here. I'll get back to the Kali Linux machine and uh, here I have already set up a Metasploit console. So here we're gonna search for Joomla hope you guys are familiar with Metasploit yeah so we got a couple of results here so I'm gonna select auxiliary module about Joomla version detection because I don't know what kind of Joomla which, uh, which version is been running on that so I'm gonna use auxiliary module of Joomla detection version detection to find the actual version of Joomla and I'm gonna hit show options to get available parameters yeah so we got uh, our host two things are important here our host and target URI so I'm gonna set our host and I will type my IP address of the Joomla web application the next parameter would be target URI and I will type that target which is forward slash init and the last thing I'm gonna do is run it yeah so we got a Joomla version of 2.5.10 and the language is English as you can see and uh, the OS which it is running on is Windows. So I'm gonna hit back and I'm gonna again search for Joomla to load up my exploit. So here you can see exploit Unix web app Joomla media upload execution. So this is the exploit. I'm gonna copy it, which was being rated excellent. I'm gonna use it, and again I'll hit show options to get possible parameters. Here again we go we're gonna set our host and target URI. Before setting up the parameters, I will show you the info about this exploit. So the basic description about this exploit this module exploits a vulnerability found in Joomla 2.5.x as you as you saw the version was 2.5.10 and here it says the vulnerability found in Joomla 2.5 so the target we have hope so it's vulnerable yeah so the version the uh, version affected is 2.5. And up to 2.5.13, and 
and also 3 and up to 3.1.4 uh, versions. So the vulnerability exists in media manager component which comes by default in Joomla which allows remote file uploads and results in arbitrary code execution. So this was about the exploit. I'm gonna hit again show options to get possible parameters and I'm gonna hit our host and I'm gonna type the IP address of the target machine and I'm gonna set target URI which is forward slash UNIP. If you have a website domain then you can add our host if it's example for www.joomlademo.one.com so you can set it right there and you can leave the target URI in a forward slash just a forward slash and at the last thing it would be exploit command as you can see the remote port here we can see it's port 80 which is defaultly been set so we don't have to change anything over here so I'm gonna hit exploit yeah so it started a reverse handler yeah bingo so we got a matter of session here so we will see what happened here it was checking for access to the media and authentication wasn't required accessing the upload form and it uploaded the shell and it was directly executing the shell as I said file upload vulnerability and uh, remote code execution so we have a metapreter session here I hope so you guys are very familiar with metapreter you know the old school MS08067 <laughs> you know you guys would be very familiar with it so I don't want to go deeper in that so the next thing I'm gonna do is sys info for a quick information gathering over this machine yeah so it's in Windows NT mm, the user's name is Manish which is a Windows XP professional service pack 2 as you can see the metal prototype was PHP so for the if you are a penetration, penetration tester friend uh, if you are a penetration tester and if you go through a scenario where you find a Joomla, Joomla web application and uh, you know this exploit comes handy and you can definitely try for this um, um, basically it's our securities we often give our customers the best patching things and all so at last I said as I said I'm gonna give the solution of this patch and what we, what can be done with this to fix this exploit or the vulnerability so I'm gonna get back to Windows XP yeah so I'm gonna type administrator Yeah, so admin admin which is been default ID and password. Uh, Joomla is been you know um, used by many people around, and you can find many Joomla based web applications which is been hosted by Joomla. So these kind of critical vulnerabilities are not been fixed or been patched by more than 80 percent of the Joomla customers so if you are a penetration tester and if you find a Joomla web application I should definitely tell you to go for this exploit and you check on to it so yeah the administration panel has been loaded up and I'm gonna go for media manager I'm gonna go for options so here you can see um, a couple of legal extension file types 
here you don't have to allow dot php extension and here as you can see the restriction uploads is being said no if you are a web application administrator you should definitely turn this to yes and you should all only you know allow uploads you know with legal extensions not php which has been executed which can be executed very easily so this was the main cause of the exploit because of the permission which we, we didn't restrict the uploads so here you can fix it by saying yes or you have in another option by upgrading your Joomla version to 3.1.5 which is the new one that would be a good option so this was all about the new Joomla web application vulnerability and this was a quick review about the exploit hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, hope we will bring many more exciting exploit reviews in future and please don't forget to subscribe to your youtube channel which is forward slash youtube forward slash star securities you can also like us on facebook and you can also follow us on twitter thanks for watching stay tuned for the next video